Hey everyone, it's day 23 of SSS Veda, and today's topic is pets. So right now, I, I guess, I guess you can call her mine. I don't know, not really. Um, there's only one pet in the house, let's just say that. Uh, her name is Izzy, she's a beagle. She's either, she's either six or seven. She could only be, I don't think she's younger than six. When my mom's boyfriend got her two years ago, the vet said she was between four to six. So, yeah. So, I don't know. So, actually, she could also be eight, but I don't know. Um, she still acts like a puppy. Uh, she chews on, there's like a door stopper for one of the bedrooms. She chews on that sometimes. I don't know why. Um, she's never chewed on shoes. She'll eat pretty much everything. She likes to dump out the trash cans. Um, <laughs> she, uh, she likes, I think I've talked about her before, but she, uh, she really likes carrots and cucumbers and red and green bell pepper. And, well, she'd probably eat yellow and orange if I tried to give her that too. Um, she doesn't like olives. She... <laughs> Um, she likes lettuce, like the crunchy, like the, the crunchy, like core part. If it's crunch, like that, that part she likes, she doesn't like the leafy, leafy parts. Um, if you try to give her that one, she just, she kind of like snubs at it and like walks away. But if you give her the crunchy part, she'll like, she likes it. Uh, she likes peas. Like if I hold up a pea, she goes ballistic. Um, what else? She likes cheese. I try not to give her too much cheese, though. I'd rather give her vegetables. Um, of course, she likes dog treats. Um, she's not too into toys. She has... There's a stuffed bear that used, that was my mom's, and she kind of, like, took it over. And every once in a while, she'll start, like, roughhousing with it and, like, grab it by the neck and start, like, shaking it all around. And, like... But it's only for like a couple minutes and then she'll put it right back down and like ignore it again. Um, sometimes we can get her to play with it if we like take it from her. Like we take it and we're like, look, this is my baby. You're not the baby. You know, this is my baby type of thing. And we're like cuddling it. Um, I don't know if it makes her jealous that or, or what. But sometimes then if we do that and get her going, if we throw it, she'll go after it. Um... And then when you throw stuff for her to go after, sometimes she'll go after it, but she rarely brings it back. Or if she does bring it back over, she'll bring it back in your direction, but she won't like bring it to you to like throw again. She'll just kind of like drop it <laughs> type of thing. Um, we have a bunch of tennis balls that we'll throw at her, throw to her, you know, in the backyard uh, for her to chase. But she won't bring them back. She just likes to chase them. And then she'll like put them in her mouth and then like drop them. And then you have to go get them. So really you're just playing fetch with yourself. It's, you know. Um, <laughs> she, let's see. She's sleeping right now. She likes to snore. Um, oh, and what I said about her liking carrots and cucumber. I don't like, I'm not really crazy about carrots. Especially raw carrots. And I don't like cucumber at all. And there is currently a cucumber in the fridge and baby carrots in the fridge. And they're just for her. Nobody else in the house eats them. So, um, you know. <laughs> so, they're just for her. Um, let's see. Other pets that I've had when I was growing up, when I was about nine. Wait, how, yeah. When I was nine, my family, we got, um... A dog. Her name was Sydney. And it was spelled S-Y-D-N-E-I. So kind of like Sydney from Scream. Not Cindy. And um, she was part Black Lab, part Collie. And I think something else. I'm not really sure. Um, she liked pot roast and butter. Or fake butter. There was once a pot roast sitting on the counter defrosting. 
and it wasn't like at the edge of the counter it was at the back so that way you know we didn't think she would be able to get it we were out I don't know where we were out of the house doing something and somehow she was able to get it and she completely like devoured the whole whole thing or she hit a lot of it and we found it later and I just don't remember um somebody left a tub of I can't believe what's not butter sitting out once and she also got that and ate the whole thing uh my mom I remember once had bought it was around St. Patrick's Day and my mom had bought a six pack of cupcakes and she ate all six of them um I don't know if they were chocolate or vanilla though I don't know my mom really likes chocolate cake so they might have all been chocolate or at least half of them were chocolate and I don't remember I, she was okay she lived to be we got her when she was two and she lived to be she was older than 10. I'm trying to think. I can't remember for sure because I wasn't living in the house that she was living in when she, when uh, we, uh, we, we, to save her from being in any more pain, we put her down. Um, or my dad, I, th I think it was my dad that decided to do it because that's whose house she was living at. Um, but I think it was the right, probably the right choice. She wasn't, she was walking okay. But, like, she basically, like, only could walk to, like, get to the next spot type of thing. And I know that she wasn't getting groomed anymore. Or I, I don't think, I don't know if my dad had found a new groomer. Because the place she'd been going to, they said, I remember I had picked her up for my dad. And they were like, tell your dad she can't come here anymore because she couldn't stand up long enough. Like, they were having to hold her up while they groomed her and it was... So it ended up being a two-person job to do it. And um, business-wise, it wasn't, you know, they couldn't do it. I mean, I suppose they still would have taken her had my dad paid extra to make up for a second person, help, you know, holding her up while the other person bathed her and groomed her and all that. Um, but, you know, um, I think she had cataracts. And I know... Pretty much like the day before, a couple of days before, she was outside before everybody like was going to bed and all of a sudden my dad has a, a fish pond in his backyard and all of a sudden I guess there was a splash and they go and like, I think my sister was still living there at the time too, well, and my brother and um, at least I think my, yeah, and I don't know if it was light enough that they could see or one of them went out there, somebody went out there to go see what fell in the pond and it was the dog. She had misstepped because of the way her walking was and um, so stuff like that. So, but she was, she was at least 10, if not closer to 15. I don't, I'm trying to think. If we got her when I was nine, that was in 88. So we got her in 88. So, 2008. She would have been 12. 2008 was my brother graduated high school. I don't remember if he had already graduated or not. So, but she was, like I said, she was at least 10. And then I used to have two cats uh, when I lived with my mom. They were brother and sister. The boy was tuxedo. And the girl was a calico turtle coloring and they, if one of them couldn't find the other, they would not leave me, the, the other one would not leave me alone until I found them, found the other one. Um, they would cry and cry, I mean, they would just make a fuss until, like, you found their sibling. Um, they used to scratch the heck out of our couch that we had at the time, and it was an old couch, we gotten it used, so it wasn't, like, that big of a deal to us, but they'd basically scratch the side of it so much one side of it so much that the upholstery the like that piece of fabric that covered the side had peeled down which means if you looked you could like look into the inner parts you know of the couch and they could get in there how they could get in there without hurting themselves I don't know because there was like nails sticking up everywhere because it wasn't anywhere that most people put their hands so anyways the boy cat one night had gotten stuck under there he couldn't get his way back out I think because of the nails 
and um, so the girl, anyway, oh, their names were Cordy and Xander, and uh, yes, it was after Cordy and Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and TV show, and uh, so she comes crying at my door, I think, yeah, I think I was in my room, so she comes crying at my door, and I'm just like, what? And she comes out, and she's like meowing at the couch, and I'm like, okay, what, like, I'm like, what? I go, like, I'm like, where's your brother? I go, is he sleeping? Because sometimes they would go sleep in my mom's room. And I was like, well, maybe she just didn't go look in there. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, the couch meowed back at me. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's where he is. And I couldn't figure out how to get him there. And I was like, well, the couch is old anyways. So I got a pair of scissors. And, you know, the bottom underneath of couches, there's like a fabric covering. Um, I just kind of. I got got Xander to move back and I just cut I made a hole and I cut through it and then lifted up the couch enough that he could come out so basically the couch gave birth to a cat um and then so I had them I got them in 98 and I had them until 2006 and we had to move out of the house that we were living in and we were not moving to an apartment complex that took pets. Excuse me. So we had to give them, give them away and I couldn't find anybody to take them that like actually wanted them. Um, that I knew was going to ensure their safety type of thing. Um, so we gave them to this neighbor down the street that like basically took in all the strays, um, and would feed the strays and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and then around the same time that I had the cats, at one point Target was selling African dwarf frogs. Like just, you know, tiny little baby. I mean, not baby, that's adult size. They were like this tiny. And um, they were water frogs. They didn't have any, they didn't come out of the water at all. And um, I had one of those and I named her Abby. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but I named her Abby, and uh, there's a couple, I had a couple fish too at one point. I had this like bright blue one and a bright pink one, and I named them Pinky and Stinky, which is nicknames that Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears had for each other at one point. Um, <laughs> can you tell where I get all my like pet names from and everything? Um... Oh, and I never said we're Izzy. Izzy, I guess, according to the shelter, we got her at a shelter. Her name was originally Dizzy, and we didn't really like it. She's a girl, so we just took off the D and made it Izzy. And now, I mean, she pretty much knew right away that that was like... It's not like once... We, right away we started calling her Izzy, and she never kind of went like, Who are you talking to? She was like okay with it right away. Um, And then Sydney... That was the name she had when we also got her. No, no, bug. Um, we also got her from the shelter that we got her at, which was when we were living in Ohio. Um, trying to think if that's all. Yeah, that's all the pets I've had. Not very, seems like a lot, but it's actually not very many because they've just been around for so long. Um, but okay, I have talked a lot about pets. Let me know in the comments if you have any pets. Or have ever had pets um, and any funny pet stories you have and I'll see you tomorrow bye